Hey guys, so what is up? Red Pen Running here. How you guys all doing? Hope you're all doing really well and have a really great day. Oh my God, I can hear myself. It's extremely quiet in here. I don't have to yell into the microphone, but I need to update you guys in the barn right now because I have no internet and I've been having issues with the existing power line adapter that goes from the wall, all right? Just for some of you that may not know how I get internet in the barn right now, it's through power line adapters that are going through about, I think a couple hundred feet. And so it was going good for a while, but up until I would say about a couple days ago, I've been having intermittent issues of getting internet on my ASICs. I have about seven ASICs in here right now. Okay, and thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. They are the ones who sent me all of these different ASICs, which I will explain later. I wanna just explain to you guys my internet situation. So I've been trying a bunch of different things. So actually, let me just, let me just go over there. Okay, so this existing TP-Link power line adapter has been unable to get a connection. And so you can see usually all three lights are on, but now there's just only two. And uh, I've tried resetting it where the router goes. And so yeah, I'm unable to get a connection. So this has been borked. And then I bought these two new Netgear power line adapters that do apparently 2000 Mbps as uh, these TP-Link ones only do about 1200. And yeah, I had the similar result. I was unable to get a connection from having one of these in my crypto mining basement. Okay, I have an internet connection. I have like switches and stuff there. And then I, I plugged this one on this side and it would not get a connection at all, like all of my rigs, all of my ASICs, my laptop even could not get a connection. And so this was a bust. I tried doing the TP-Link again and that didn't work. So the next thing I did, I went to Best Buy and you guys may have seen this before. This is a little tiny 4G router that also takes a SIM card. Okay, I'm able to put a SIM card in here if I wanted to and I tried using mine and it wouldn't work. And uh, I tried also, I went to Best Buy and uh, we tried some other ones there, but apparently I think this one was meant for a different frequency that was on AT&T in USA. And I am in Canada, so this doesn't work where I am. So I bought two of these last year on Alibaba and yeah, it doesn't work in Canada here because the frequencies or the cell phone service, it doesn't work with this. What I had to do, I instead, I went ahead and bought a data plan and a new hub, this new ZTE Rocket Hub, MF279T. This is just, it's basically like that, except it works in Canada here. So I am gonna set this up. I haven't turned it on or anything yet. I just got it. So I am just letting you guys know what I'm doing in terms of my, just a replacement for my existing internet connection in this place. And this only has one LAN port. I wonder if this has DHCP so I can give out uh, IP addresses to my ASICs. So Hopefully this will work. Man, it's just dead quiet in here. I'm so used to hearing so many ASICs, <laughs> right? It, this feels weird. Like you guys should be hearing like loud fan noises right now. Anyways, guys, yeah, that's the situation in my barn at the moment. So you know what, let me go ahead. I need to configure this, get it going, and then uh, maybe we can then plug in some ASICs, guys. So be right back. Okay, you guys can see I got it on. It's got the data plan signal, which is full strength, which is good. You guys can see I have a five gigabyte data plan. So that's per month. And I'm hoping that should be okay for all of my ASICs here, seven ASICs. I'm assuming it should be enough. Uh, I will keep you guys updated assuming when and if if we hit that five gigabyte within a month or less uh, i'll let you guys know i'll update you in another month or so anyways it's all in i'm able to get a valid ip address on my laptop and also if we were to look at the ping all right latency i am pinging to ethermine.org all right our us2.ethermine.org you guys can see the latency here is it's it's not that great. I mean, it's it's okay. Some some sometimes I'm getting like 124, 129, but generally I'm getting 72 milliseconds or so. And uh, yeah, it looks like we got some latency issues, but this is over data plan. I feel like that's a given. So I guess we'll see. Let me go ahead now. Let's turn on some ASICs and uh, that router, this router, this ZTE router does have DHCP. So I can have up to about, I think 150 IPs. It's already set at the defaults, but I I'm gonna probably change that later to like a or something. All right guys, let's go ahead. Let's plug in the first ASIC. And this is the 
A10 Pro, five gigabyte version, okay? Next one we're gonna do is the Antminer Z15. And you guys can see the temperature right now, it's 93 Fahrenheit without anything on. It's actually a really hot day. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna turn on the fan because I'm sweating balls right now. There we go. Okay. All right, the Antminer Z15's on. Now, let's do the IB-Link BMK1. Okay, that's on. Now, we're gonna do the other Inosilicon A10 Pro. Oh my God, that is extremely loud. All right, this IB-Link is really loud. Okay, and now, we're gonna do the L3 Plus, which is over here, okay? And uh, yeah, let's, let's plug this in right here. All right, now, I, uh, assuming all of these should grab an IP address. Okay, we're gonna do the Bitmain Atminer S19J, uh, S19J Pro, and then uh, let's plug that in. Actually, no, we're gonna do the What's Miner, sorry, What's Miner M32, and uh, it's this cable, I believe. Okay, yeah, all right, that's on. Now let's do this one, S19. All right. Okay, S19J Pro is turning on, the IB Link's turning on, and uh, we still got data, and I'm wondering how much we are using. Um, let's see, let's just give it a refresh here. Oh my god, 143 megabytes already? Damn, that's a lot. Oh, you know what? I bet you anything my laptop is downloading something, so it's probably downloading updates or something. Ah. Anyways, let's, let's just keep this on for a couple minutes, guys. I'm gonna see if these are connecting to the pools, all right? Give me one sec. Okay, my S19J is showing up on pool in, so that's a good sign. I guess another good sign is that the ASICs are utilizing more power. When I didn't have internet, that's when uh, it was using much less power you guys saw in the beginning, okay? So uh, yeah, the two ASICs, uh, the two Bitcoin ASICs are using about 6,200 watts right now. Oh my God, that's uh, that's pretty uh, pretty high. I, to update you guys, I have been running the M32 with the S19J. All right, not recommended on a single 240 volt 30 amp breaker. All right, I'm literally using almost 29 amps, so that is not good, in my opinion. I should definitely turn this off, and I am thinking of giving this away. So stay tuned for that, guys. Okay, stay tuned for that. Actually. For those that are watching right now, I want to give something away. If you got this far in the video, I want to give away this six GPU Veta frame. All right, brand new inbox. I will ship anywhere in Canada, USA, or Europe. All right, I'm gonna do Europe this time. And so, how to participate? Very easy. Just comment down below. Uh, what do you guys think of my internet situation in my barn? How could I make it better? Or if not, I'm already made it better with the hotspot, but. My other solution was uh, to have uh, potentially a ubiquity point-to-point -point system. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that, but I already have this data plan, uh, we'll see how it goes. I can cancel it any time, it's only month to month anyway. Anyways guys, just comment down below if you are in USA, Canada, or EU, and uh, just anything about my internet. So get your comments down below. Anyways, I wanna show you guys what else. Yeah, it looks like everything is on, so I'm happy. I'm not losing money now, but actually I have one worry if we go to the data plan usage. It's been about, only about 30 minutes and I've already utilized 0.6 gigabytes already. So I have a feeling my laptop is the one downloading like Windows updates. It actually downloaded like a Discord update. So I think that's why it utilized a lot of uh, megabytes there or gigabytes almost. Not even an hour in and I've already used 0.6 gigabytes. Just, just terrible. Okay guys, I think that's it. Otherwise, look at my barn, It's this is how I'm gonna have it. Oh, I showed you in the beginning, I did upgrade my network switch, uh, also network cabling as well. Okay, so take a look at that. I have all uniform uh, white cabling now, going into a uh, 16 port net Netgear gigabit switch, okay? Don't really need gigabit for mining to be honest. And then the uh, this blue cable is going into the hotspot router. Okay, and uh, here was, uh, I used two old uh, switches before, all right, so I'm not utilizing these anymore. <laughs> these can just go, actually, I can bring these to my uh, garage. Yeah, I can use those. Anyways, yeah, that cable, that blue cable goes into the back of the 
uh, ZTE router, okay? And so that's how it gives out the IPs into, that, into the switch, through the switch, all into my seven ASICs here. Okay guys, I think that's it for this video. I can't even hear myself right now. It's, 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 it's just way too loud. I, I feel like I'm yelling into the mic, which I totally am yelling. I'm so sorry for that. But yeah, it's, it's getting all hot in here. And uh, I'm glad I got my ASICs back on because it's, uh, I've been losing money for the past uh, couple days now. I had uh, my ASICs just not get internet. All right guys, let me know your thoughts down below. Look at my amazing box wall. I love this box wall. I don't even know why I'm keeping all these boxes, but I should probably, you know, I get rid of them one day, but I think it just looks cool. Anyways guys, comment down below if you're USA, Canada, or EU. I will ship this out to a lucky winner in a couple days after this video releases. So get your comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'll do comment picker and uh, I'll announce it uh, on, I don't know, Discord or something. And if your name was chosen, I will reply to your YouTube comments. And then you'll have to email me your address and all that stuff. Okay guys, so good luck winning this six GPU better frame. All right guys, that's the end of the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and peace out. Oh my god, it went up another 0.72 gigabyte. Man, that, that was in a span of like two minutes. That's not good.